people becoming eligible in Georgia for COVID vaccines, those in the northwestern part of the state are teaming up to make them accessible to the public. They're also hoping that the passing of a local leader will help convince people to take advantage of this opportunity. A day after one of his best friends and fellow commissioners passed away from COVID-19, Dade County Chairman Ted Rumley held back tears. He would be here today with me. So. Instead, Rumley is mourning the loss of Alan Bradford. Bradford spent several weeks in the hospital on and off a ventilator. It's just, uh, it's just a shock, shock to us. You know, we had really good hopes, you know, that he was getting better and, and showing some sign, but. Uh... But the virus was too much for his body. Bradford's death comes as Georgia opens vaccine eligibility to all adults 16 and up on Thursday. To meet the influx in people, leaders in Dade, Walker, and Catoosa counties decided to work together, turning the colonnade in Ringgold into a mass vaccination site for those who live in the region. We all have people here on the ground representing all three counties to provide this service. We are pulling all of our resources together. More than 40,000 people have been vaccinated in the Tri-County region so far, and organizers want to keep the momentum going. We went from struggling to get vaccines to now we have roughly 6,000 vaccines on hand at any given point in time, and now we're looking for people to get the vaccine too. Vaccines will still be available at county health departments, but this effort helps those who commute to work. They're also trying to overcome vaccine mistrust. So we're going to try just a, a nice approach of just, you know, your neighbor to, you. you know, let's talk to them, see how they like it, local pastors. But for Rumley, his message to everyone is simple. Please take this seriously and take advantage of this opportunity that you have. Organizers here are looking to offer later appointments and appointments on Saturdays here in the near future. In the meantime, you can learn how you can make your appointment online or by phone inside the WRCB app. Reporting in Catoosa County, Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.